Ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guys? It's uh, another episode of Moki Scatterbrain Podcast. I don't even know what episode we're on anymore. I think this is 11. I think this is 11. Um, I don't know. It might be fucking 10. I'm going to stop numbering them. <laughs> uh, very late to this week's podcast. And I, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I know I got to record. I know it's time to get going, but... There's nothing I want to talk about. <laughs> nothing. Um, there are just times where I don't want to speak or I'm out of the loop. You know, things of that nature. I feel like I even look a little rough. Um, and I do. And I do. And I'm still hot. And this pussy still pops severely. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just still a little down bad. You know, a month ago now... My dog died rather unexpectedly, so, and I mean, I'm so tired of talking about the same things, uh, and that's one of the reasons why these podcasts have been a little slow the past month, because obviously, you know, since my puppy had to go down, things just kind of been shaking, so, you know, we're just getting over that hill, um, I did finally put majority of the dog's things away. And I do say the dog's, not just butt butts, because, you know, it's... <laughs> For a whole decade, we had a house full. Starting with my two fluffy butts, my cats. Poop was the first one. He's the OG. But we lost him in 16. We lost him eight years ago. I almost got a whole decade without that cat. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, fun fact, uh, he is still my background picture on my iPhone 10, which I use as my iPod. I'm so tired of bitches in world life being like, you guys who phones, I do, bitch, I pussy pop on one and do business on the other. I'm gonna start saying that, even though it's not true. <laughs> one is my phone, one is my old phone turns iPod. Anyway... He's still my background picture there. The house is just so quiet with none of them here. And it's like, bitch, really, the house is even like, you know, kind of quiet when they were here, you know, because, you know, they would just be laying around if they were here still. <laughs> but you can feel... You can feel the quietness. You know, I still walk by the living room, you know, entrance and I'm still looking like you're going to be in the chair. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you're not. Um, I can talk about it a little bit more now and, you know, be able to keep it together. Uh, but if I talk about it too much, I'm going to start crying. So, <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, a month ago. A month ago, by this time, we'd already put him down and we were trying to prepare for my mom's birthday dinner because a month ago was also her birthday. July 22nd was crazy. Just crazy. But nonetheless, doesn't life prove to keep on going? <laughs> Just keep trucking along here. You know, it's just us. It's just me and my mama. And she's facing so much shit too. But she's good. Sadly, I can't go into further detail about that. I'm, uh... <sighs> respectfully and morally not allowed to. Because... In her world, fuck these bitches that be lurking. And if it ain't, if you, if you questioning it, then it ain't you. You all know who you all are, so mind your business. 
So sadly, I won't be talking about that. But you know, there's just a lot going on. And same here. I'm proud of my mom. She is officially, uh, I think she has not smoked for a week. Uh, no, it ain't been a week. <laughs> It'll be a week Monday. But I'm still proud of her nonetheless because her last cigarette was like Monday afternoon. Here we are Thursday afternoon and sadly I'm still smoking because stress and stuff. <laughs> I need to find something to really knock that shit off because I, I also need to quit. But you know I'm still smoking not around her but I do smoke in my bedroom um, or I go outside. And she's still pulling strong. And she'll be like, damn, I really want a cigarette. And I'm like, don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. Don't do it. You done gone this many days? Keep going. As she has done so many times before. I know she got this. So everyone keep cheering her on for me, please. Because she need it. And that's on period. Okay, you see that funky ass pinky? That's on period. <laughs> Uh, I would love to give y'all a tour. Maybe I should. You know, we still got the house a little cluttered and stuff because we still got the birthday wrap on the table <laughs> from when we had the birthday gathering uh, for my fabulous mom and my fabulous um, cousins. And we all really just kind of been... I don't want to say stagnant, but sure. We've just been frozen. We're just frozen in time right now. Um, I did finally put the dogs things up. I know I started there. I'm sorry. I'm looping back. And that was kind of nice. Just to finally like deal with it. And like, okay, it's time to put it up. And I love... I'm sorry if you saw me scratch, but my pussy was itching. Um, I love my family because <laughs> one thing we like to do in the heat of the moment, like once one of our, you know, loved ones pass, it's like, here, do y'all want this stuff? Y'all have animals, y'all have pets, y'all want it, y'all can take it. And they're always like, mm, we'll wait. And it's such a good feeling because as time passes, you know, my mom's like, I don't want to get rid of that. And I'm like, cool, because I don't want to get rid of that. You know, so then we just gather the things and put them up. So it's very nice that our family must know that about us because they're always like, we'll wait, which is like, cool. Thanks for waiting because we changed our mind. <laughs> so I did finally get those things put up. And that was, like I said, nice in a way. Uh, you know, this is tough because this, and I, I understand no one will understand it because no one lived it with us. But, but, but dying was literally the end of an era. You know, it, that was the end of our past life. You know, me and my mom are still here and obviously we're from our past lives. But I mean, just like a tangible, I don't even know if that's the right word, because obviously we have tangible shit from our past lives. But, you know, just that last living, breathing thing that we had a connection with, that we had access to, you know, it's all gone. You know, my mom and her ex-husband got him and Piggy together at the beginning of their relationship when he moved down here, moved in with us before our whole New York, New Jersey, escapade. You know, and we had lost Piggy in 22, so or 21. We lost Piggy in 21. So he lasted three years without her, which kudos to him. Kudos to Butt Butt. So she had passed before he left, right? So she ended in that chapter. But then when he left... It was just me, my mom, and my dog. <laughs> so, you know, it's very tough. So, of course, moving the things and cleaning up the space, it's like, okay, this is the end of this chapter. That is the end of that book. That is the end of that era. That's the end. And it's so fucking crazy. I, 
you all don't understand how fucked up it is for me because where I work now is where I worked when I left Kentucky. So like the same job I have now, the same job, the same location, everything, I gotta sneeze. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, same location, same everything. It's the same job I had before I packed my shit up and went to New York with my ex stepdad or whatever the fuck. How the fuck you put him with him? When I went up there with him, a nobody ass bitch. When I went up there with him. Cause, and that was the start of a whole new life. You know, we're going to Jersey. We're going to build this life. We're all going to live there together as a family. You know, just a whole shift and change in my world. Just to come crashing down <laughs> after a few years. And to come right back where I thought I was leaving. So like, of course, when he left, like that, my whole year, at least from 22 to 23, it was me falling back in love with this place. Because I was so disconnected from Kentucky and I was so disconnected from everyone, not out of spite, but just, I'm about to go have a new life. You know, like, obviously, I keep my con I kept my connections with people, but just distant, you know, as it would be if one would move across the country. So, like, that first year, and don't, don't get it twisted. Like, I love it here now, and I always have, my old Kentucky home will always have a place in my heart. Kentucky will always have a place in my heart, no matter if I stay, live, and die in Kentucky, or if I move across the country, or across the other side of the world. Like, this will forever be my old Kentucky home. And that's how I acknowledged it when I was living in Jersey. You know, my old Kentucky home. Well, now it's my current Kentucky home. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. You know, it's just that era ending with butt butt passing. And now I focus so much on okay. I can't wait for you all to see Sunday's uh, content video that I'm putting out because it is a style video that I have never made. It's old content. It's from my past. But it's so beautiful. I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. But I'm just going through all these changes and these thought processes and all these things to try and... We clearly had this moment, this decade of shit being flipped upside down and, you know, life's changing. We're going here, we're going there. So many things, so many great opportunities are happen, happening to that bubble just popping and crashing down and literally picking up where the fuck... I left off, which is so crazy. And of course, this is completely ignoring. So I'm, I'm the blackout era, which is what I like to call it now. <laughs> the blackout era is literally 2013 to 2022. Literally a fucking decade. Nine years. Nine, nine and a, well, no, nine, yeah. Because January 2013 to February 2022, literally nine years. It's a fucking blackout. Like, I blacked all of that out. White out, blacked out, whatever. I just try to fucking erase it. But I can't erase it, right? Like, that's just not something I can zoom. Because it wouldn't be true. As nice as it would be... <laughs> As nice as it would be to just be able to be like, that never happened. Like some men in black action, bitch, forget, please. But sadly, that ain't reality. So, I'm deep diving into it. I'm trying to heal from it. Try Do I really want to forget it? No, because it's still a part of my life. It happened. 
you know, it happened. But anyway, so I'm literally, now that I have realized that I have literally picked up where I left off, because from 2013 to 2015, we were here trying. My mom went through that scary ass, you know, she nearly died in 2015. That was hell. That was crazy. And that was February 2015. And then we spent the whole year reviving her, getting her up, getting her going, getting her to the bad bitch she is today, period. Fucking period. And then at the end of 2015, me and my... Him moved to Jersey. So I left my job. I mean, my literal last day was being picked up, I think. I am I think I'm making that up, actually. We went there before we got on the road. That's what it was. And I said bye to everybody. And then cut to fucking nine years later. Hey, I'm back. Well, really, it was eight years later. Because I've been there over a year now, so... But now that that is processed, I'm ready to move. Next. Next, please. Get me out of that. You know, not that I'm trying to, I guess I'm backtracking. I don't even know how to fucking explain this, but I guess I'm backtracking. It's like, okay. I have been here, I have been already been back at my job for over a year now. And it's like, what would I have done then? Because that's what I need to do now. Let's act like I've been here this whole time. Let's go through the blackout era, black it out, you know? So let's just act like it. Has, I have been at this job for over 10 years. What I'm about to do, because this ain't it. Let's move, let's grow, let's progress, let's get out. And it's fucking tough. It is so tough. And it kills me because it's like a year ago, a fucking year ago, bitch, I was unstoppable. I was out here pussy popping up and down the street daily, constantly walking, constantly being active, constantly moving, constantly doing what I had to do to feel good, to feel accomplished, to feel great. And now it's like I'm fighting that same demon that I'm seeing so many other of my loved ones fighting. And it is to get the fuck up. And I've always said it on my previous videos, you know, like the hardest thing to do is to get up. Once you get up, you're unstoppable. The hardest part is literally to put these feet on the ground and push. That's the fucking hardest. And I, I know that because every moment, you know how hard it was to get up and record this? <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I was literally laying in bed. I've been up since 2 a.m. It's whatever time it is now, past 12. I've literally been in bed, well... I did go see my friend for a few hours this morning because night shift girls. Um, but just the fact that by 6 o'clock, I was already back in bed. 2 o'clock, I was waking up. 2 a.m., waking up. 6 a.m., just laying in bed. Why am I tired? I just slept. I just got up. I've only been up four hours. Why the fuck I'm laying down? I mean, depression and shit, I get it. And not sleeping well. Um... You know, and that's fine. It's not, but it is, you know, like, at least I know what my contributing factors are, I guess. But so, I, and then of course, I'm just laying down for the rest of the day. And so I force myself, bitch, get up and do these dishes. I'm, I said I was going to do the dishes. Let me do the dishes. And I'm sitting here doing the dishes and I'm like, no. Let me hurry up and at least record a decent uh, podcast episode because it's fucking Thursday. And I've been thinking about the podcast episode and I've yet to record it. Hey guys, listen, sorry I'm back. My mom came home so I kind of just froze and then stopped recording. Um, you're probably going to hear in the background because she's on the phone because she's loud as hell. She don't know how to be quiet <laughs> and it'd be hard to make... Okay, I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about before, but we're going to just take a, a, a new dive here because of where I'm going. When I do things, I try to be so professional or so perfect because I'm like a perfectionist when I like do content and stuff. So like, you hear the background noise and stuff, which is great. You know, she needs to live her life too, fucking period. And I notice people who like be recording stuff get shit like that all the time and it's cool. 
But then I watch other people and it's like so professional, no background noise, no this, no that, complete focus and get it straight. And you know, it's like, okay, is that what works? I mean, cause it worked for them. Anyway, um, that's cool. She saved by the bell anyway, cause I think I just want to wrap this up. I, I, I know it's not a long one, uh, but it is Thursday. Uh, my work week starts tomorrow or my work stretch, I like to say, cause bitch, I don't work a week. <laughs> But my work stretch starts tomorrow night. And when I tell you, for the past two weeks, I haven't done anything. So, get this house together, get some stuff going. I say I haven't done nothing. I need to work on that. I have been making content. Um, I just don't post it all to my main channels all the time, which my main channel is YouTube. I'm born with YouTube. I'm a to die with YouTube, but TikTok second. Instagram, Snapchat, you know, like everyone gets content daily except YouTube. Because uh, YouTube is the one where I, I've really kind of put in the most work. It's the most in-depth ones because, you know, it gets some, I mean, they all get multiple content. But I always got to make sure I have content for Sundays and my podcasts for Thursdays. I'm glad I said this. I am going to change the day of which I post my podcasts, which is currently Wednesday and move it to Thursday because clearly Thursday is I mean Wednesday is just it's too soon it is it really is too soon um, because I work Saturday into Monday Saturday, uh, Friday night into Monday morning you know what I mean so like even though I'm off Monday I'm working till Monday morning so my whole day Monday is sleeping Tuesday I'm recharging Wednesday it's podcast it's just it ain't working. You see, Thursday's a stretch, too, because here we are Thursday midday, and I'm just recording, but that's okay. Um, so I think I'm, I'm going to move it to Thursdays. Podcast will be Thursdays, and I'm going to switch OnlyFans to Wednesdays. So we'll just kind of, ooh, I can't say that on YouTube. Sorry. Well, anyways, that's going to be moved to Wednesdays, podcast Thursdays, boom, boom, boom. So, <laughs> Uh, but I just, I got work to do, and I feel good about doing it today. Um, I am tired, but once I made myself get up, I feel like I can do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with the dishes, and if that don't wear me the fuck out, which, God, I hope not. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I do so much, yet it feels like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But anyway, um, that's just kind of how life's been going. I did a month-long post on uh, Instagram doing 20 pictures. Now that you can have 20 pictures on pictures on an IG post. Um, literally picked up July 22nd to August 21st because that was posted yesterday. So I'm trying to catch up here. Uh, but I'm doing okay. We're doing okay. We're going. We're kicking. And we're not giving up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, look forward to Sunday's content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mokey out. Bye.